Hey guys, this is Layla. Today we'll speak about the metabolism of tag and cholesterol. I've already made videos on cholesterol, so I'd only speak a little bit, little bit about it. So starting with lipoproteins, plasma lipoproteins are spherical micromolecular complexes of lipids and specific proteins, which are called apoproteins, or together apolipoproteins. So they include CM, chylomicrons, VLDL, LDL, HDL, which are very low density, low density and high density lipoproteins. We also have IDL, which is intermediate. So the tag and cholesterol are carried by these lipoproteins, either obtained from the diet, which is the exogenous source, or from de novo synthesis, which is the endogenous source. Now a bit about the apolipoproteins. So type B48 is unique to chylomicrons. This one, it reaches the plasma and is rapidly modified. How? By receiving apolipoproteins E, which is recognized by hepatic receptors, and C2 which is necessary for the activation of an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase, which I will speak about in a bit. The source of these apolipoproteins is the circulating HDL. Now, ApoB100 is carried by immature VLDL, comes mature only after the addition of apolipoprotein E. What is important for you to know is the function. For example, chylomicrons, they transport tags from the intestine to the liver or the other tissues. VLDL transport tags from the liver to the adipose or muscles. IDL is like a relay station between VLDL and LDL. LDL transports cholesterol to peripheral tissues and HDL transports cholesterol to the liver from the peripheral tissues. You can also see the apoproteins that each of these lipoproteins contain. TAG is synthesized from glycerol phosphate into lysophosphatidic acid by the help of the enzyme acyl transferase. That goes into phosphatidic acid, which is DAG phosphate, diacyl glycerol by acyl transferase again. And um, then we have diacyl glycerol by phosphatase enzyme, which finally gives us TAG. Uh, Monodi and triacyglycerols consist of one, two, or three molecules of fatty acid as terified to a molecule of glycerol. The fatty acids are usually not of the same type. The carbon 1, 1 is typically saturated. The one on carbon 2 is typically unsaturated. And that on carbon 3 can be either. Lipoprotein lipase is the enzyme which uh, binds the chylomicrons and extracts the triacyl glycerol from them, which it cleaves again to fatty acids and glycerol for, in order for them to enter the adipose tissue. This, as I mentioned earlier, is activated by ApoC2 on circulating lipoprotein particles. The mobilization of the stored fat requires the hydrolytic release of fatty acids and glycerol from their tag form. This is initiated by hormone-sensitive lipase, which removes a fatty acid from carbon-1 or carbon-3 of the tag. This is mediated by CAMP system and protein kinase A, um, when it encounters a hormone, for example, epinephrine. A hepatic lipase is found on the surface of endothelial cells of the liver. It plays some role in triacylglycerol degradation in chylomicrons and VLDLs and is particularly important in HDL metabolism. Okay, a review. So from the intestine after absorption, you have the chylomicrons which go into the lymph carrying tag and cholesterol. They go to the blood and then store the fat in the adipose tissue with the help of lipoprotein lipase and hormone sensitive enzyme helps to release them from adipose tissue. The chylomicron remnants can, be car ca can carry them back to the liver. Here um, from the liver to the other tissues it'll, it is carried by VLDL in the blood and IDL is the relay system that uh, shifts from VLDL to LDL, so from blood to liver. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.